She is the hottest actress in Hollywood right now, and Louisville gets to claim her. You can't turn on the TV or flip open a magazine without seeing Jennifer Lawrence walking a red carpet or winning another award. That's from Silver Linings Playbook, a great movie. We're proud she's Louisville's hometown girl, a busy lady, but made some time for an interview with her good friend, Renee Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we go way back. Well, but I mean, the fact, though, that you were able to get her on the telephone, yeah. I mean, because she's crazy busy right now. Her she's schedule, everywhere. Her mom described her schedule to me, and literally, the fact that I was able to get like a 15-minute phone conversation with her is a miracle. That it really yeah. is. Well, what did she say? Well, she talked about the Oscars, of course. She said what she planned to wear. She talked about that. So Do tell. Well by that. A little? We'll reveal a little bit. It's a oh, brand, look at her not telling It's a us. brand that she has worn before and um, that she says she will feel comfortable in. So she's not going to wear sweats. There were, she jokingly said one day she was going to wear sweats to the Oscars. And carpool, she, I heard. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to wear sweats. And um, she talked about what it's like being nominated this time as opposed to being nominated the first time and um, what it feels like coming into this thing with so much momentum and having won so many awards leading up to the Oscars, mm. too. And that's the difference, too, is the first time you're nominated, I guess she was kind of dear in a headlights, sort of, because it's all new. What is all this? Because it kind of blows yeah. by, and now she knows more people. We'll show some video, I think, of some some of her recent moments right there. Yeah, this is actually from this week um, at the Santa Barbara uh, Film Festival where she was named Entertainer of the Year. Oh my uh, gosh. So she's, she's been everywhere. She was on late night TV just last night talking about um, how she used to have a big crush on John Stamos as a kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. And how she loved Full House well, growing up. And she's just so normal. I think that's why people like her because she, it's almost like you're just talking with, right. dabbing with a girlfriend. But that to Terry's you know point, going in with all of this momentum, does it mm -hmm. make her nervous? I read where or it was on one of her interviews, she said she never writes an acceptance speech. She thinks that's too, you know, snooty, that why would I think that I'm going to win, that she just gets up and wings it, but she's so polished for 20 years. And funny. Oh, yeah, and funny, too. On the fly. I know. She said that uh, she wasn't going to get any more. She may need some help, uh, some coaching with her speeches, and everyone's like, no, don't get any coaching. We no. like you just being yourself. But she talks about that. She talks about what it is like going into the awards this time, and she talks about what she likes to do after the awards shows, and the things she likes to do when she comes back home it sounds to normal. Louisville. And she is very normal. We're going to have her whole interview coming up today at 4 o'clock. We're so looking can, forward to that. Listen to more of that. And look, is this pre-fame? Yeah, that's, <laughs> after, that's Winter's Bone. That, we well, did a premiere. That was and really big. That was one she was nominated for an Oscar, and then they gave her a pink Louisville Slugger bat, and that was over at uh, Baxter Theater. I and Tara, I think you and I both met her about the yeah. same time, maybe like in 2010 or 2009. Yeah. And I think uh, when I first met her, like, oh, you have to meet this budding new actress. She's going to be a big star. And I was like, Okay. I mean, she seems really nice and all. And now you it's, called it. Yeah. I know. It's been so fun to watch. You know her what she career. said to me? I walked in. There was a radio student. She said, "Dude, I've seen you on TV my <laughs> whole life. I'm starstruck." Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's funny. I love that. It is very neat. But we're going to have her whole interview coming up today at four o'clock. And all I right. love more of that. Thank you so much, Renee. Really appreciate it. And again, tune in today at four on WHAS 11. We'll be right back.